topic is pattern matching pattern matching means given pattern is present in large string or not we have to find out if at all it is present in which position it is present in which location pattern is present in string we have to find out this is about pattern matching there are different pattern matching algorithms are there basic algorithm it is navy algorithm or brute force this is basic pattern matching algorithm i'll take one example and i'll tell you in this algorithm how to find out the pattern for example string is program and pattern it is r a m so first of all we have to compare first two characters p and r not matching so complete if these two are matching then you can compare remaining two characters next to two characters but now p and r not matching now complete pattern will shift one step right side c r a m now r r matching but the next two characters are not matching if not matching again complete pattern shift to one step right side now o and r not matching again shift to one step right side g and r also not matching again shift to one step right side now r r matching next to two characters a a also matching next to two characters m m also matching like this we have to find out the pattern is present in string or not so here it is so like this we have to find out here the position it is for example the characters are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total seven characters are there in from 5 to 7 the pattern is present now coming to advantages this is very simple method if pattern is not matching every time will move one step right side and coming to disadvantages length string length it is seven total seven characters in string and pattern length three characters so in worst case the number of comparisons are m minus n plus 1 So seven minus three plus one. Seven minus three it is four. Four plus one it is five. In worst case, worst case means if pattern is present in last locations. So sometimes it may be present in last location. So in worst case, in this example, see one, two, three, four, five. Five comparisons required. So in worst case, it requires m minus n plus one comparisons. It requires for comparing. so this is one disadvantage and we'll take one more example first we have to compare these two characters if these two are equal we'll compare next to two character so first character in string i'm going to assign i means the first character index assigned and in pattern the first character index is assigned to j okay now in this example i have started indexes from 1 okay now we have to compare ith character jth character what is ith character a jth character is also a if these two are equal we have to compare next two characters it means increment i value by 1 and increment j also 1 now again compare ith character jth character b b matching increment i increment j Now I the character C J is also C. Increment I, increment J. Now D and D again matching. Increment I, increment J. C. Now I the character A, J the character F. These two are not matching. If these two are ma not matching, generally what we have to do the complete pattern we have to shift one step right side. A B C D F. so total five characters again j starts from first character c now j is at fifth character now again j starts from first character every time j starts from one now coming to i now i is at fifth character now i will move to second character okay i move to second character now i the character b j the character a like this again we have to come back so now the disadvantage is i is at fifth position now 
we are using back tracking we are going back every time we are moving i to back means it require more number of comparison again comparison starts from second character b i a not matching again shift to one character one step right side like this every time when you move i to back side it require more number of comparison so automatically it requires more time in worst case time complexity it is big over m into n m n m means string length n means pattern length okay this is one more disadvantage this is another example see again ith character jth character first two characters we have to compare these two are matching increment i increment j again matching increment i increment j again matching increment i increment j now ith character is a jth is b now these two are not matching if not matching then what we have to do complete pattern shift one character one step right side one character right side total four characters are there again j starts from first character now i is at fourth position now i move to second character so again we have to compare here the problem is see all these three are same characters but anyway every time we have to compare so it doesn't observe the pattern that is the reason it requires more number of comparisons this is also one disadvantage it doesn't observe the pattern if anything is repeating in your pattern every time no need to move j to first character that is the disadvantage so this is about nave algorithm or brute force algorithm so coming to advantages it is very simple method disadvantages it require more number of comparisons in worst case m minus n plus 1 comparisons and in worst case time complexity it is big o of m n and one more it is it doesn't observe the pattern every time j move to first character it doesn't observe so it require more number of comparisons these are disadvantages of brute force technique or nave algorithm